Why are you so interested in inflation? Like, do you do that in your analysis? Well, I mean, there have been some concerns like in the industry or, or outside industry about inflation in general. Like, because you see all these raw materials going up um, mm. from the stuff I look at, like copper, steel, uh, iron ore, and, you know, the cost of raw materials used to produce these metals. Like for copper production, you look at oil. Mm. Um, for aluminium, you look at the cost of electricity and everything is going up. So you just wonder, like, this will hit something in the industry very soon. It's just mm. not there yet. Mm. So, um, I mean, I can give you some example. Like, yeah. you know, if you look at copper, it's like 40% up from a year ago. Mm -hmm. If you look at steel, I think it's 50%, about 50% more than a year ago. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to someone who works in the wire and cable industry and mm -hmm. they look at copper and, and also they look at like polyester and, you know, the plastic around copper. Yeah. Even, even plastic, the price is going up like crazy, like 100% up. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so everything is going up. I mean, part of it is reflation, what we call like What's things reflation? going back to normal from, uh -huh. yeah, like, um, from, from COVID back to normal. So there's a phase of reflation. Mm -hmm. But the, after, you know, it's hard to distinguish what's the point of um, reflation versus inflation, right? Inflation is like um, the value actually stays the same, but the price goes up. Mm. So it's hard to distinguish that, I think. Yeah. And remember we were talking about like uh, government bonds yes. and all that. That was uh, one of the trigger points because I got asked by someone like what's happening with the bond markets, mm -hmm. what's happening with the government bond yields, why is it going up so crazy and what do we expect? And then, you know, I, I start linking it back to the stuff I look at, the metals, the cost of production. And, and then I see <laughs> it is valid reason for worrying about inflation. Mm. You know, if you look at the cost of steel, mm -hmm. it's so I, I, I was saying it's around 50% over the same time last year. Mm -hmm. But we, we don't see that happening in the cost of buying a car. So the cost, mm -hmm. uh, the, the increased cost of steel hasn't gone to the cars yet. So when mm -hmm. is it going to happen? Mm. Interesting. So will it matter if the inflation comes from supply side or demand side? So supply side will be increase in um, like US dollar bills out in the space versus demand side, which mm. is the value of still increasing, hence the price increased. But I guess no matter so, what, inflation is just inflation, right? It should go to the end point. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it, it depends because when you're looking at the increase of costs that's on the supply side, it will depend whether you can shift that cost to your consumer. Mm. If you can't, then that will kill your industry. Mm. Right. Because you just you won't have any margin. You won't have room to to improve or to expand. You won't have money for your capex. Then that will just kill your industry. But if it's on the consumer side, then the consumers are already willing and able to pay for higher price. Mm. So that is just going to lead the whole industry upwards. I mean, that's that's what I think. But maybe you can tell me what you think. Mm. Yeah, I think that that's super fair. And that's exactly where I have a lot of questions about, you know, where's inflation going? Mm. I usually don't think about the inflation in between the supply chain. I just look at the end goods itself because I would mm. imagine the end good already accounts for all these increase in prices. But you're right, mm. the price of goods or the price of end goods like cars hasn't changed that much, including like phones. Because I know that mm. cobalt, cobalt, which is one yeah, of cobalt. the main ingredients in designing like iPhones, Yes. And they are in short supply because there's a lot of mm. conflict going on in, in the various countries. Yes. And you will imagine that the price of that increases plus mm. the demand of phones actually increased. Like Apple's reports showed that they had mm. over demand of what they were expecting. And phone prices increased, but it didn't increase as much marginally. Mm. So where's the money going? <laughs>